Hi guys, I'm Ademola Victor. Welcome to my channel. This is my first video officially. I'll be giving a direct talk to people and I'll be talking about different like different acts to get by NYC camp. I've outlined five and um, and this this is really important for you to know. Uh, okay. First I'll talk about money. You'll be spending about twenty one days in camp, that's about three weeks and many things will be very inconvenient for you if you don't take money yeah um first you calculate how much you normally spend on a day if you if it's one that will spend just one thousand in a day you, you take at least twenty one to thirty thousand error if you're someone that will spend double that amount you should take about fifty or sixty thousand error to camp and i'll tell you why first you if you're coming from a different environment finding it is you, you might find it difficult to adjust the food to be given at camp if you have money you can actually buy food in camp you have markets they call it mommy market so you have this market where you can get food and you know you just feel like you're at home because you'll be able to buy what you want to eat you have good restaurants there but if you rely on getting food from from the camp from like a meal ticket because you're giving a meal ticket you might the food be much but the taste might just piss you off and you have to like wait to a specific time to eat and you also have to queue you have long queues so imagine, you might, you might get to your turn on the queue and they tell you, oh, the food is finished, or the meat is finished, or the fish is finished, or you might, you might definitely, okay, imagine being, imagine being broke, you don't have money in camp, and you're allergic to this type of food, and that's what they serve in camp that day, so it means you would not have lunch, or you don't have dinner that night, and that's going to be very frustrating, based on your activities you'll be doing in camp. So make sure you take money, I will not specify the amount you have to take, but it depends on what you want to spend. But the limit, at least the minimum, I'll give you a minimum. The minimum she takes to camp should be about twenty thousand naira. Now I'll tell you why. Because on the average, to buy a food in camp, a plate of food, very cheap plate of food, should be like two hundred naira, and that's spending like six hundred naira per day. Give or take, you buy some other stuff, you buy fruits, you buy drink, and um, that's probably a thousand naira. By twenty one days, that's twenty one thousand naira. So you should not take nothing less than that that amount to camp. The next I'll be talking about is your clothing. You mean to, you're allowed to bring additional white clothes and white shirts to camp and uh, i'm going to give you a specific number or a minimum you can take and i advise you take seven to camp seven because you have seven days in a week and each day you can have a clothes without bothering about watching so like on saturdays on sundays you can now watch the rest and you wear them again you get two additional white shirts and white shorts in camp which will be very big that's like the cultures because I got, I got big ones i got a very big one and most of my friends also got big one i don't understand i didn't think um heavy all graduates are like oversized so you have to give you like xxl i think i don't produce more l more large you just produce large extra large for everybody not minimum or small so um make sure you take yeah if you can take the white shirt take at least seven just take seven at least so you don't have to bother about washing see there are plenty of stressful activities in camp. So if you take washing out of it and feeding out of it, you actually enjoy camp. You enjoy the experience better. Yeah. And you don't know, you might meet a friend and she might actually want to like have more time to hang out and talk. But if if you're depending on food and washing, you don't have time. You just um you have like structured stuff. And the only time you can have to rest is those periods. You know? So yeah, and for your clothing, for the shorts you're taking, make sure you amend all the shorts to make sure the pocket have zippers. This is where you're going to keep that money you bring it to camp. So every day you're changing your shirts, you make sure you transfer the money without your zip, your shorts, your shorts, your white shorts you're putting on. So, and for socks, white socks take also take at least seven. So you take have one for a day. In the weekends you can wash them. So for clothing, yeah, that's the best way to go about it. Now the next is for people that always that like waking up late. People like me that like waking up very late in the morning. Uh, there's also a solution to that. It's a way around it, and that is or it's illegal. I don't know if I should be saying this, but yeah, I've gone to camp, so I don't think I can be called back to camp. Okay, that is you can actually fake being sick in camp. Yeah, you can fake being sick. You know, they give sick people priorities. They don't allow them to go for parade and stuff. So. You can also fake music. I think they give you fast, or a panadol, or a just a drug for headache to just take and go back. No, so you have to refuse. You have to like, you have to fake it. You have to like, if you, if you have to form, if you have to form something, you just have to do it so you don't go for parade. That's the easy way around it. Although you might miss the experiences like of the morning national anthem when the flag comes up and um, 
more, more chance to like mingle with people but if you're someone that don't, don't care about the stuff just fake being sick that's the easy way around it i have friends that feel that that were actually sick genuinely sick and well, I, did, I don't know if they faked it but if they were in the medical center which we, i could not really see them we finished from the same school but i could not see them throughout camp and they told me camp was like like a vacation for them because they were just resting all around watching tv and stuff so yeah that's also like an act for you in camp so you can fake being sick yeah okay the next one is um it's actually it's actually tricky I'm not, I'm not going to advise you today well it's um it's i'll just say it, it's just a lobby in camp it's because it depends on the state you're serving if you're serving in a developed state like lagos potakot i'm sorry lagos rivers abuja you she don't really care about posting because anywhere you posted in the state is actually good you can get a decent accommodation anywhere in Lagos state and um yeah but if you're serving in a like very rural state then most people want to serve in the in like the city for example if you're in niger state most people want to serve in mina or in Suleja, a very big city or if you're in for example in your state most people want to serve in Ibadan or maybe a boomer show like someone you develop they won't want to serve like a rural community right very, very, very village they won't want to serve there so so people actually lobby how do they lobby they want to be they want to be seen they want to be known to the officials like they're always in front they're always the first to get there they like form relationships with the officials in camp they say hi how are you uh, stuff like that you greet them get phone numbers call and ask oh how can i get to the city how can i get posters and stuff like this so people actually do that do that i'm not sure if it's called lobbying or it's just being smart i don't know but but it's also a way you know these are the officials that will actually post you and then um, so the the only guaranteed path for you to get posted to a good place is if you're in one of the like essential part of camp like if you're in sports if you get if you, if you play football very well you might get drafted to the national your, your state and nyc team if you play volleyball very well for a girl you might also get drafted to the state nyc volleyball team and then for also for people in the band you can get drafted to the aspect too and um also yeah so those are the areas for you to get drafted to a very good place or to get posted to a good place in camp so and if you call it lobbying or something else but that's also a method to get yeah, to get to get that um the other the last the last part the final part it is um sleeping early yeah now this sounds crazy because you get in, you, got, you have plenty of experiences in camp in the room where you have to talk plenty of chances to talk after lights out because lights out is always usually by 10 pm but it's better to sleep early in camp if you don't want to be stressed yes i see this work for plenty of people most of my friends that don't sleep early they always complain throughout the day and they start sleeping during lectures so if you don't sleep early you can sleep during lectures yes you see many people sleeping during lectures they call it um what do they call it can i remember i don't think i can't remember i'm not if i remember i'll write it down here but um you see it down um they don't they give lectures they give these lectures every every day except on sunday i guess where people come out and they give talks they give uh, entrepreneurship talk they give motivational talks and stuff and that's the time when most couples sleep because they don't sleep in the night and those talks are really important i don't know it might be important to some some people it might be important to you you never might tell and you, if you're serving in a like a foreign in a different state not in lagos state you also get taught like languages of the local local people there you can you maybe taught you how to speak Hausa, and from there you cannot speak it up and be good you might pick up a new language yeah so how to speak Igbo those periods so always go to sleep early because if you sleep early you sleep by 10 or by 11 you get to you get, you get to have at least about six seven hours of sleep before the week by 4 30 or by 5 to come out of parade so basically these are like the tips i can give to you for nyc but in summary nyc is very fun going to love it it's it's um the 21 days it's just it's like this experience is very it's very difficult to recreate i 
you can't I, I don't know how to put it but I wish I could have I, I could have stayed longer the last three days to go like I did not want the 21 days to end I, 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 that was the period I was getting to like bond better with the friends I made I started missing people and stuff so get a camera that's the last tip get a camera and uh, you can use your phone and make sure you like capture every moment do videos do pictures every moment of camp from the first day make sure you capture everything because in the next one year in the next six months the next two years you you'll be happy that you have those things to look to look at and to you know, like this um just um, experiences to revisit to engraft them it would be better like that than for you to just think about it with only one or two pictures of the whole camp and there's no sense snapping pictures with photograph photogra photographers in camp because except the ones where you can't hold your camera like when you're climbing the wall or you're climbing an obstacle you're on the, walking on the rope but you don't really take pictures from those people in camp because it's not as copy when it's as copy now there's one you cannot snap with your phone and print it out later so except important pictures yes of course you can take important pictures more but regular pictures use your phone don't like overtake pictures in camp because at the end of the day you just have to you have you spend enough too much money taking pictures one more thing i think um well, i said one more thing before but okay i remember just one now you'll be giving your first allowance in camp yes 19,800 you'll be giving in camp the last three days or four days of camp you'll be giving that money in camp so you can also you know just get ready to receive the money and you know do anything you want so you can give it to your parents you can give it to your friends you can give it to your siblings you can do anything you want to do with it but just i just, I just have to i remember i have to tell you that you'll be giving my thousand eight hundred now the last last few days in camp what else should i tell you what else can i do this uh, sorry this um, video is not structured i just took my camera out and said oh i have to give this tip to people that will come and you know come for and come go to nyc camp so um basically that's it that's it then for what to pack for boys and girls is different i because if i if i'm if i'm to do a video on the things that you have to pack to camp i'll be give, give, giving two different videos for boys and for girls for boys just have a bag and um, you know take five seven shorts seven tops your beating uh, your beating stuff like a cream your soap like plates like like three plates three spoons um like four pairs of white canvas bedroom slippers two bedroom slippers or bedroom slippers towel mosquito nets very important because of malaria yes you have to take mosquito nets that's, that's a very important thing why did i forget you have to take mosquito nets very important take mosquito nets to camp um towel and you don't have to carry a pocket to camp you can buy a pocket a pocket in camp Although it will be more expensive more than you buy in your area, but you can buy. You don't have to carry pockets to camp for boys. Oh, I don't know about girls, but for boys, because some boys tell you the advice: carry a pocket to camp. And that basically, 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 that is it. And also, then how to socialize. You know, meet people from other schools, from other universities, because that's that's the fun part of it. Yeah, don't just be idle. Accept that's the nature. Then I do mix mix people, people. That's that's like my little summary. I've, oh, I've done 13 minutes already of NYSE. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll, I'll also drop my my Instagram and um, WhatsApp. So if you have any questions, you can message me. And if I'm not too busy, I, I'm sure I will not be too busy. I'm going to reply you. And um, that's that's it, guys. Thanks. Um, Thanks for watching. So this is a video I'll get to the end. I got to this part of the video. I got to the end of the video. Thanks. That's really nice. Because uh, that's all. Oh, that's it. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye.